Hi, this is Don Allen, and today we're talking about the concepts of uh, quadrature, which means numerical integration. There are a number of principles involved in quadrature methods. Uh, there are the types. Uh, the first, the newton coates type, are the points are given. You've seen this with the trapezoidal rule, where we take uh, various points and uh, compute the areas of trapezoids. And you've seen when we take triples of points and uh, we fit a quadratic. This gives us a uh, the Simpson's rule. And uh, any time you take a select number of points, usually equally spaced, you can interpolate a polynomial and derive a quadrature method from integrating that interpolating polynomial. A nice formula is usually obtained. In the next type, we have the points are selected. That is, we have the option of picking the points we want to evaluate the function at with certain criteria in mind. These are the so-called Gaussian methods. Uh, the Romberg method is to extrapolate uh, to better estimates, just as we did, and almost identically to what we did with Richardson's extrapolation when we uh, approximated derivatives. And finally, we have the adoptive methods where we uh, <coughs> predict exactness from error. This is uh, the trickiest of the methods and requires the most careful attention to error. The next principle are, is the error formulas, which will not be discussed in this uh, video. And finally, the composite forms, uh, which we will talk about throughout the presentation. The newton coates formulas include the trapezoidal and the Simpson's rule, these you've seen. They're based on polynomial interpolation of select points. Usually the points are equally spaced, or they can be as the data is determined from practice. Sometimes you need to integrate a function where the data is given to you from some process, whatever, and then you need to perform the integration. It could be time series data and the like. The error of the approximation, of the integral approximation, is computed from the errors of approximation, which we have looked at in detail in a previous chapter. Composite forms involve the repeated application over selected series of points. That is, say for the trapezoidal rule, we look at x0 and x1, and then x1 and x2, and then x2 and x3, and so on. All of the newton coates formulas follow this pattern. newton coates They are wonderful formulas. They're not much used in practice until we use some of the more advanced acceleration techniques. Gaussian quadrature is our little miracle quadrature. It's uh, based on the question, what points can be selected of the function to make the method exact for the maximum order of polynomials? That is, can we select three points and make it exact for fifth or even sixth degree polynomials? This is quite a method. It's a powerful method, and uh, the points must be computed beforehand. And they're plugged into the numerical routine. Uh, these points are solutions of certain polynomial equations, so some work must be done pre in a preliminary way. These points are also available online. They're available in textbooks they are not easy to compute directly. Once again, composite forms involve the repeated application over selected series of points. 
that as we select an interval, we take those particular points in the interval, do the quadrature with those points, and then move on to the next series of points. The Romberg method is based on a precise knowledge of the error formula. It uses the ideas of the Richardson's extrapolation, so what we basically do is we could use a fixed method, say like the trapezoidal method, for a step side h, and then a step size h over 2, and then a step size h over 4, and so on, until the approximation is quite good. It just uses those same types of formulas that you saw when we approximated uh, derivatives to a very high precision. Romberg methods are very powerful. Adaptive, adaptive methods are where it's at today. Two different methods for the same little interval are employed. The two methods usually have one order higher than the other order. The play is to use the higher order method as exact or nearly exact to determine the approximation value, approximation value of the lower order method. This is, this is tricky and involves a, a, a subtle use of uh, formulas and we'll see how it comes out uh, in, 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 uh, as time goes by. Now the composite forms, once again, involve repeated application over a select series of points. It does have an advantage that uh, in an adaptive method, uh, the computation for one of the methods and the computation for one of the other methods may use the same points and this can be this can reduce uh, the computation the number of function computations required for example the uh, Felberg method is one of these 